What's up guys welcome back to another video and today's video we're gonna remove some safety features from our Brixton now before we start the video I just want to say this is a mod that you just want to do if you are a experienced rider if you are a beginner rider don't do this mod this could seriously hurt yourself and your motorcycle so if you are not ready to do this or you don't feel comfortable when doing this modification to your Brixton don't do it it's not safe at all so the modification that i'm talking about you have this switch right here on the kickstand and that prevents you from starting the bike now i'm gonna show you what's happening i turn on the ignition try to start the bike it will crank over but it will not start unless you remove the kickstand and put it on the other stand it's not a kickstand but the upright position so that prevents us from starting the bike now you can say why do i need to start my bike at this position you get up in the morning and you want to ride your bike to work the engine is cold the oil is cold that's not good for an engine to rev up the engine when it's cold so you want to warm it up a little bit like five minutes before you start riding so you can do this in this position but you have to Put the bike in the upright position so with this feature disabled you can turn on the bike crank it up let us run for five minutes when you are waiting you put on your helmet put on your gloves put on your vest get ready to ride and then you just your bike will be warmed up when you want to ride in the winter time or in the morning when it's cold so that's what uh, the whole purpose of this modification is now you can say this is too dangerous what happens if we remove the switch on the kickstand if it's in gear will the bike shoot away forward and totally destroy the bike and that's why we're gonna do some tests before we remove it to ensure you guys that it's a safe mod to do it's just a reminder to put up your kickstand when you are starting to ride so that's the whole purpose of this switch that's just what you need to remember when you start riding so first of all I'm gonna show you that it is safe to do now what can happen when you park your bike you can leave it in first gear so we're gonna put our bike into first gear it is in first gear right now you can see I cannot move it we're gonna remove the kickstand so this means that the switch is not activated so this would be if we remove the switch but it's still on the kickstand let's try to start it and now if I push the button nothing happens so the bike won't start if it's in gear when you remove the switch now i can start the bike when i pull the clutch lever push the button then i can start it so you can see the only thing that this switch does is prevent you from riding away when you are in the kickstand position so you need to remember to remove the kickstand when you start riding that's the only feature it does so now we know that it's safe to do your bike will not fly forwards when you start the engine and that's good so just remove the switch and uh, enjoy starting our bike on the kickstand so in this modification there are basic tools you're gonna need a allen key some electrical tape and a pick this is a small screwdriver that I grind it down to pick you will see what I need to use this for later on so first let's disconnect the switch and take it out so when we follow the wire on the switch it goes underneath here under the kickstand and up into the engine now let's go to the other side it comes up right here into this connector so if we disconnect this the bike should run so we're gonna just disconnect this connector so it is disconnected now the bike should run in this position now you can leave it like that but it's not that pretty when wires are hanging loose on your motorcycle so we're gonna try to remove the whole system hold the whole wiring system and the switch itself so that it's much more cleaner so I'm just gonna pop this cover off 
that I have a more clear view of what I'm doing. Now because the cable is routed so narrow and the connector won't fit through it, I want to remove the connector but not cut the wires because maybe at some point I'm selling the bike and I want to make it factory new again then I will need this connector. I'm gonna try to remove this connector. You can get de-pinning tools but I don't have those so I have to use a pick right now. So when I look into the connector there are small pins hooking up into the connector and if I push them down Yes, so we got our connector housing out right now. Remember the position that our wires were inserted in the connector so you can put it back in the right order. Now we could pull on the wires but they would get caught on the little clips and you can damage other wires. So we're gonna get some electrical tape, tape them up so we can pull them out. So just get some electrical tape doesn't matter what color, we're just going to use it to route the connectors. Make it as snug as possible. So this is our connector and it has to fit right through there. So we're going to pull on it and try to get it out. We're just going to try to locate it at the other side. Yes, there it is. Let's pull on the connector, yes, now let's pull the wire down. So we got our wire pulled through the wiring harness. And now just take your Allen key and detach the whole switch. And here is our switch. Now you can cut this off and give it a little bit of paint if you want to permanently remove this switch but I'm not gonna do that as I was saying maybe at some point I want to reattach this switch so if I leave this bracket on I can do that. So now there's one more thing we need to do. Okay now we just have this loose connector right here. I'm just gonna pull it up. I'm gonna zip tie it right here so it's permanently pulled up in this position and then you cannot see it anymore. Just wiggle a zip tie between these two wires. Snip off the excess. Put back our cover. And there it is, no more white connector, everything is tucked away nicely and our bike can run in this position. And if you ever want to run the switch again, just get your connector housing, attach the switch, route the cable up to the connector, connect your connector housing, put the wires in there in the right order and then your bike is back OEM. So that's this mod for this video. I cannot stress this enough. If you are not comfortable with removing the switch, don't do it. If you're a beginner rider, leave the switch. If you want to remove it, if you want to start your bike in this position, now you know how to do it. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and a comment down below what you think of this video. Is this a mod that you would do or not do? Would you recommend it to somebody? Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and on Instagram. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. There are more Brixton videos coming up soon. And see you in the next one. Yeah.